everybody. I'm going to read you a book today called Applesauce Day. And it was written by Lisa Amstutz. I spy the big pot on the counter right away. Hooray, I say. It's Applesauce Day. Hannah cheers. Ezra bangs his spoon. After breakfast, we load up in the car and drive to the apple orchard just outside the city. The air smells sweet, like ripe apples. I listen to the quiet. There is no sirens, no screeching tires, only the buzzing of bees and leaves rustling, rustling in the wind. Then Hannah calls my name. She's on her tippy toes tugging at an apple. I show her the trick dad taught me last year. Twist and pull. The apple pops right off. Dad winks at me and we get right to work. Mom and dad pick the high apples. Hannah and I pick the low, low ones, low ones and Ezra helps too. Soon the baskets are full of rosy apples, ready to be smushed into sweet, tangy applesauce. We pack them up and head for Grandma's big, roomy kitchen. Grandma's waiting at the door. Her smile matches mine. As, as she hugs me tight, Ready to make some applesauce, she asked. We lug the apple baskets into the kitchen and take our places. This year, Ezra gets to help too. Dad washes the apples and Grandma cuts them into quarters so they'll all cook quickly. Snick, snick, snick. Ezra drops the apple quarters into the big steel pot. Thunk, thunk, thunk. It's heavy and wide and holds a lot of apples. The perfect pot for applesauce, Grandma says. It looks like a regular pot to me. As we work, Mom tells us how she helped Grandma carry bushels of apples home from the market on their quiet Ohio town and how they cooked them in this very pot when she was a little girl. Grandma tells us how she helped help mother pick apples. Grandma tells us how she helped her mother pick apples from the old apple tree behind their house on the windy Iowa prairie and how they cooked them too in this pot when she was a little girl. Mom scoops the hot apple mush out of the food meal. Hannah and I take turns cranking the handle and passing the apples into the funnel on at the top. Crank, crank, squish, crank, squish. By now, our stomachs are rumbling. Grandma sets a plate of sandwiches and a big bowl of warm applesauce on the table. She sprinkles cinnamon on top. Mmm, I love cinnamon. And we all take heaping helpings. And then seconds, Ezra licks his bowl. Then we go back to work, cutting and cooking. And cranking, crank, squish, crank, squish. until the baskets are empty and the containers are full. We fill grandma's big freezer and pack the rest in our car. Finally, we say our goodbyes and head for home. 
tired and sticky, but full of stories and smiles and applesauce. The car growl, growls quiet. I run my finger, fingers over the scratches on the old metal pot. Someday, I think, when I grow up, I will cook apples in this very special pot on Applesauce Day. The end. That was a very good story. If you'd like to read it, remember it's called Applesauce Day by Lisa Amstutz. Have a great day, guys.